I'm Bob Johnston. I'm the Managing Director of Kelpbraid Decommissioning. Uh, we're a division of Kelpbraid that specialises in highly regulated industry and specialist demolitions such as explosives. There are eight cooling towers, five of which are coming down. They're 114 metres tall, the cooling towers. These are hyperbolic cooling towers. It's a stress skin design. And what we wanted to do was disrupt the shell. And the shell therefore collapses in on itself and 90% of the shell lands within its own footprint. A number of liaison meetings with the local community and the police, not just highways, local police, local councils, stakeholders, local businesses. So we had to bring those all into account as well. So and we've had to do some logistics around that, protect some of their assets, things like that, which is all good. Today just was the culmination of it all. The design was to mobilise the cooling tower forward. So we, once we get things moving, we can be sure nothing is going to come back the way and give us a problem. We drilled around about 3,000 holes. We put a charge line in the shell with verticals and horizontals. That basically gets the shell to crack, gets the turn on the shell. And then we've got so many pairs of legs which were blue, which got the actual drop, which made the structure collapse. And the design is really based on what we wish to do to these two cooling towers. So we've trialled it on a cooling tower that's not in a critical location and uh, we're proving the design today. So we'll then move forward uh, and use that design for the, the two that are in a critical position. In regards with protection, we put chain link fencing and geotextile around the legs. On the shell, we put a wire, wire rope bond through the shell, which we connected the chain link to and the geotextile which then was in turn every three metre had a wire bond to hold it in place while to stop the explosive flying out and just keeping it all contained so that we didn't get too much spread and didn't cause any damage. Today's gone well for us. Uh, it's taken a long time, a long process through tendering contractor selection and working with the SSE team. We've carried out a lot of cooling towers and this one behaved just the way we expected it to do. We've got to clear the walls, clear the floors, make sure there's no cracks in the floors because we've got voids either side. So we're pulverising also here, where you can see with the machine, breaking an entrance into the cooling tower so then all this can be pushed in and we'll process it inside the cooling tower. So the main thing is not to have to run material off-site and use it as part of a, a green policy of the company.